it's just after 3 p.m. and I'm just had my coffee and I'm getting with the day. Yeah. That's late. <laughs> My intentions with th this vlog are just to watch me work on that cabinet with music or something like that. Uh, so you have that to look forward to instead of me yakking through the whole thing. This morning I had my shrink appointment where he calls me. What did he call you? That's for me to know. <laughs> oh, la. Uh, anyway, he called me. And it was supposed to be a short appointment because they scheduled him and he had no say over his schedule. We got to talking and I could tell something was bothering him again. <clears throat> I had my stuff marked out on the calendar so I could flip through the pages and just say this happened, this happened, this happened. And this is where I am now. Which he, he thought that was very thoughtful, you know. So if you do see a counselor or something, <clears throat> Right? If you're having a, uh, a panic attack or a tough day, keep note of it on a little calendar or something so that they know exactly when and what. And it's very helpful for both of you. But anyway, I I said, oh, uh, they said you were on vacation. And he said, um, no, not really. And I, my thoughts immediately went to somebody who was sick. So are you okay? We talk like friends, whether that's kosher or not, I don't know. But it does get people to open up when you talk to them like a red, like you know, like you know. But he knows me well enough now, and I know him well enough. <clears throat> he mentioned his wife this time, so I don't know. He did that on purpose. He must have. Like, back off, woman. But it's still nice to know that you're liked, you know. Anyway, he said that the healthcare system of this clinic in St. Louis, he's in Kansas City area, he's outside Kansas City by like an hour or something, in Kansas. He said what they, they are starting to do whatever they want to do with all the increase of health concerns and mental health and counselors and all that, they have one full-time uh, counselor, Shrink, and him, who's part-time. He's only allowed 20 hours a week. And he said that's not enough, especially with the influx of all the problems that we've had starting in March of this year. I said, yeah. And he said the, the, uh, the influx is a lot more people, at least 100 more people, and they'll schedule and won't tell him and all of a sudden they'll say yeah Joe Smith is on the line for you and he'll like who the hell is that but uh, he's having all this issues too people don't think of it from that side they only think of it from their own side and I said well they, they're they're cutting back on their doctors so they have like one doctor per 300 people or something he said that's not enough with everything that's going on there should be more and there should be more mental health carers and things which we don't have and the times are rougher and tougher and there's less and less that the doctors can do and he said that's really tough and I said oh my gosh I can understand we were talking and I said something about you like coffee have you had your coffee this this morning and he goes, oh yeah. And I said, I'm going to ask you a question. He goes, yeah. And I said, are you Lutheran? <laughs> he said, yes. <laughs> like, how'd you know? Yeah. And I laughed. And I said, I'm sorry for laughing, but that's a Lutheran thing. Lutherans are, their lifeblood is coffee. I don't know why, but Lutherans love coffee. So we started talking coffee. And this and that and the other thing. And our appointment would have been over by then. But he just kept it going. He's obviously feeling a lot of stress. And I, I, I know. And we didn't talk politics at all. 
because I know we both know where we stand on that, which is good. Get it out of the way. We know how we stand on that. And he and I are in the same boat. Well, we're all in the same boat. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's certain concerns that are quite important for mankind that are not being thought of or concerned about presently. And uh, we talked about church and going to church. And he was an acolyte. That's the, the little boy, the boy that goes down with the, the candle lighter. He walks down the aisle and he goes up to the altar and he lights the candles to begin the service. And I said, you were a, a, an acolyte? Holy cow. I said, what I wouldn't have given to be and have been an acolyte. <laughs> you know, it's like that's a prized position to be. And I, we were talking about how it's not that dissimilar from Catholic. And I said, yeah, the only difference is that we sing more and we don't have as many statues around. And we both had a good laugh. Getting away from the subject at hand. Speaking of, see this cut? Right there. I was trying to trim something with a, a box knife and it slipped. But I had a new blade in there, so it's a good thing it was a new blade. It was nice and sharp and it closed up, but it bled like son of a gun. Anyway, here we get back to the subject, Shirley, what was it? He knows I obsess on things, like uh, if it's a piece of information, <clears throat> I look it up as thoroughly as I can. Until I know everything there is about it, or, you know, until I can't take it anymore. Then I have another obsession, and I told him about the Max Rabe and the Palliser Orchestra, the German crooner, that they play 20s and 30s music. And I listen to that all the time. I, that's just my latest thing. I think he might check it out because he likes music and he likes art a lot. He, he loves his job. He's a very kind soul. You can tell it in people's voices if they're a kind soul or not. He was on his way to take a nap. He likes to go under the bed in the front room, my bedroom. Hey, want to take a nap? Huh? <sighs> I knew you like to see the kitty. Some, some of you do. He's, oh, he's just so, he's right half asleep already, aren't you, honey? Let's say it to the people, shall we? They're gonna watch some work being done on the cabinet. Good thing to be in the front room, you won't hear it so much. Upward and onward, right? Yeah, incense to try to keep the flies away.
finishing, where is it? I don't know. Down here. Finishing that. The drawers just have to dry. Tomorrow I can put it all together, put the wheels on, and then it'll be done. The chain is plastic chain that I sprayed to look like real chain because we've been having a lot of air conditioning unit thefts. So I do have some real eye bolts and some real cement compound to put the eye bolts like around the uh, air conditioner so if someone in the future wants to use real thing they can but uh, I don't want my air conditioner oh, mosquitoes taken or anything it may not work all the way it needs Freon but still <sighs> well anyway I'm tired the sun's going down I have tuna burgers for dinner and the cat can't wait so I will say it again, upward and onward.